he would try and poke his head through the fence and he knew he could get through there and Edda would be on the other side cheering him on. He would squeeze himself into little spots. And quit teaching him bad things. If you're sitting on the ground at the same time, he would like leap over your legs or try and get on your lap. He was all over. Crazy eyes. You guys, we got another cleft baby in. It is a little baby pug. We're gonna put Potter into an incubator for a little while. He was very limp. His little head would just kind of fall. He had a cleft lip. They can't suckle a bottle very well, and he was just so severely underweight. Did some tube feeding with him to get him kind of to bounce back. Potter was in the incubator full time. Usually after a couple weeks, they're ready to come out of it, but Potter was always on the small sides, so he stayed in the incubator longer than normal. I can remember holding Potter and just bawling my eyes out, but you really have to continue on and stay strong. Potter is doing really well. He really started to notice that he was in the incubator, so he would just kind of sit and he would just stare out. He started gaining weight. Just each day would get a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger, and then wanting to come out of that incubator pretty quickly. Mr. Potter is officially coming out of the incubator today. He is going to meet a couple friends. Hi. Peekaboo. Can you come down with the puppies? Wait, oh, yeah, they're kind of just puppies. He kind of just walked right over to them and he was like, oh, hey friends. Like he just kind of joined in on the little group. These puppies are a couple days old. And look at this tiny little bud. He was ready to go. Okay, we officially have a maniac of a pug on our hands. Potter is all over the place. Uh-oh. <laughs> he is trying to poke his head through the baby gate. He's Bye. squishing himself into little spaces. He wants to run. He wants to play. He really liked when Edda would come up to the gate and play with him. They interacted through the baby gate. We kept him, you know, for another week or so, but he was basically at a point where he was weaned and he was ready to go off to his foster. It's always the most amazing feeling watching them go off to their fosters. It's such a good feeling knowing that they are going off to be adopted and to find their forever homes. They, you know, they, they have no worry in the world any longer. 